Hello, and welcome to the June 8, 2020 edition of Technology Tuesday, a series of videos about online services of Livingston Parish Library. This week, we are discovering the downloadable and streaming services available to library patrons. In this video, we'll discover Hoopla, a content provider that offers books, movies, and music. In order to follow along with today's video, find the Hoopla app through the App Store for iOS devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. Download the app to your mobile device. You can also access this service by visiting www.mylpl.info slash digital library and clicking the Hoopla link under ebooks and audiobooks. Let's sign up for Hoopla. You'll need your library card number, so be sure to have your card handy. On your mobile device, tap the Hoopla app you downloaded to open it. Tap the blue link at the bottom that reads, Don't have an account? Sign up. Type in your email address and choose a password at least eight characters long. Once done, tap Next. Hoopla may ask permission to turn on location services. Decide if you want to do this. For this example, I've chosen Don't Allow. Next, we'll search for Livingston Parish Library in Hoopla's list. You can either type in the library name or your Livingston Parish zip code. As you start to type the library's name, Hoopla will try to find a matching result. Tap Livingston Parish Library, the first result in the list. Tap Agree to agree to Hoopla's terms and conditions and privacy policy. To read these documents, you can tap the blue links directly above the Agree button. Now you must confirm your account with Livingston Parish Library. Find your library card and type in your library card number. Next, type in your PIN number. Your PIN number is the last four digits of your library card number. Tap Next to register your library card number to the Hoopla account you created. Congratulations, you've created your Hoopla account. Hoopla users can check out 10 titles per month with their library card. Tap Continue to enter the app. The first screen is the My Hoopla section of the app. You can also return to this section by tapping the My Hoopla icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Since we haven't borrowed anything yet, Hoopla gives us a few choices. Let's find a book to check out by tapping Browse Books. In Hoopla's Books section, we can view audiobooks, comics, or ebooks by tapping the appropriate type at the top of the screen. Let's tap ebooks. Hoopla displays a mix of books for both adults and kids depending on the current view preference, located under the slider. Our choices are popular, recommended, or featured books. Let's tap featured to practice changing our current display of books. If I want to search for a certain subject or genre of books, I can do so by tapping genres in the top right corner of the screen. First, Hoopla shows me some of the most popular categories or genres. Below this section, all genres are listed. Since I am a fan of mystery and thriller fiction, I am going to tap the category New in Mystery and Thriller. Find a category or genre that interests you and tap it. By tapping on our chosen category or genre, we see book titles that match our choice. Find a book that interests you and tap the cover. 
On the book details screen, you can favorite the book by tapping the heart icon. This saves the book for you to read later. You can check out the book by tapping the blue borrow button. Be sure it is a title you are ready to read now as you do have a limit of 10 titles per month. Once you tap the blue borrow button, Hoopla will ask you to confirm your choice. Book and e-audiobook titles check out for 21 days. Tap borrow to confirm your choice. The book will download to your device and is ready to read. Tap the blue read button to open the title. Swipe left to find the first page of text in your title. Tap the middle of the screen to activate reading preference options. A blue bar will appear at the top of the screen. Tapping the bookmark icon will bookmark the page. Tapping the list icon will open the book's table of contents. Tapping the A icon will offer choices on text size and more. The search icon allows you to search the text for words or phrases. To exit the Reading Preferences screen and read your book, tap the middle of the screen again. To exit Reading Mode, tap the X in the top left corner of the blue Reading Preferences bar. Great! Now we know how to check out a book in Hoopla. Let's look at some of the other types of content offered. Tap the video icon at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice that the video section of the app looks similar to the books section. At the top of the screen, you can switch between movies and television. Under the slider, you can choose a view preference of popular, recommended, or featured. You can also tap genres in the top right corner to see different categories of film. Choose any title that interests you by tapping its picture. Like the book details screen, the film details screen allows you to favor the title for later viewing. You can also borrow titles from this screen. If you are interested in a television series, as shown in this example, you will need to borrow each episode of the season individually. The music section of the app works similarly. Tap the music icon at the bottom of the screen. From the music screen, you can choose your view preference, search through genres, or tap on a title that interests you to check it out. To view your borrowed or favorited items, tap the My Hoopla icon at the bottom of the screen. Below the blue header, you can switch between borrowed items and favorites. When exploring Hoopla, you can favorite a series by tapping the series name on the book details page. On the series page, tap the heart icon in the top right corner. You can also favorite an author. From the book details page, tap the author's name. Tap the heart icon in the top right corner. Tap the My Hoopla icon at the bottom of the screen. We have one last tip for you. Hoopla has a kids feature that limits selections to titles generally appropriate for younger children. Tap the kids icon in the top left corner of the screen. A small check mark appears next to the icon indicating you are now in kids mode. Tap Books at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice the choices have changed to titles published for younger children. To exit Kids Mode, return to the My Hoopla section of the app. Tap the Kids icon again to remove the check mark. Congratulations! You are ready to check out titles and enjoy Hoopla. Thank you for following along with us today as we shared this service of Livingston Parish Library with you.